Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. MailChimp has made all kinds of updates to the way that their platform functions, so I wanted to walk you through today how to create a campaign, how to create an email and send it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos all the time, and if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and write a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. MailChimp has given us this nice create button, so we're gonna start there. We are going to be sending out an email campaign today. That is an email where you choose what day and time it goes out and it sends to the audience that you choose. So we're gonna go ahead and name it. This is a name that only you will see, so make it something that makes sense to you. And we're gonna create our email. So the first thing we're going to do is choose who we're sending our email to. It's always going to default to sending to your entire audience. If you have just one audience, it'll come up here. I happen to have a couple, so I'm going to pick which one. Ideally, you would just have one audience, and if you need to know more about audience organization, I, of course, have a video about that too. All right, so we're gonna choose our audience. It is going to default to sending to everyone in your whole audience. If you wanted to be more specific about who it was sending to, you can click on this. You can pick a tag, so it will send to everyone within that tag. Or you can click and pick a new segment. Segments are a search tool and you have all different criteria here that you can search through. So you can choose people who are just added after a certain date, people who came in through a specific source, people who interacted in a certain way, opened or didn't open your previous email or any of your other criteria in here. I'm gonna click out of this for now. And now MailChimp has this option of choosing who you're excluding totally separately. So again, you can exclude a specific tag or if you have saved a segment, that will be here as well. Next, we always want to check this box here to personalize the to field. This is the to field that is at the very tippity top of your email where it says like from in your email address and then to in an email address. Instead, if you have their name in your contacts, it will substitute in their name. And this helps with spam folders. Um, email systems know that if you know their name, you're less likely to be spam. So we're just gonna click that. Next, who it's coming from. Hopefully you have that default set properly. If not, again, I will link a video and I'll give the instructions down below too so that you don't have to keep changing that every time. We're gonna set up our subject line. Subject lines should really be short and sweet and to the point. I love throwing an emoji in there when it's appropriate because the color just makes them pop a little bit. And your preview text allows you to expand a little bit more, a sentence or two about what is inside your email. Keep in mind that your subject line is all that they know about your email without opening it. So this is your chance to tell them what's in there that they wanna see. Next, we can look into our send time. Your options here will vary based on your MailChimp plan. Um, if you're on the free plan, all you're able to do is send now. Um, if you are paying for a plan, you can schedule it ahead of time so you can pick a specific time to send. If you have the standard plan, you can pick send time optimization where MailChimp will give you advice on the best time to send. Because MailChimp is the largest email marketer, they have data on all of your contacts and they are looking at when your contacts open like other emails sent by other people as well as your own emails when they give this advice. We also have time warp here. Time warp will send at the same time for everyone on your contact list, taking into account their time zone. So if you choose to send at 7 a.m., it will be everyone 7 a.m. Um, this one you have to schedule 24 hours in advance because that's how time works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a time to send. Save that. It will not send yet. When you're ready to schedule, you're gonna hit this tool up in the upper right here. And the next we're gonna make our email. Depending on whether you've set a default already or not, you may not get this screen. This is asking you if you want to use the classic builder or the new builder. Uh, the new builder is good enough now that I am recommending and I'm using the new builder consistently with my clients. So we're gonna click on that today. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick a starting place for our email. You can go ahead and start from scratch if you want. I often do that. MailChimp also has some layouts already set here. And you can go to templates that you've saved, emails that you've already sent, and emails that are in drafts to start off in those places as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this minimal template. The email builder itself is made up out of blocks, just like the classic one was. Right over here is the styles tab where all of your defaults will live. So you will set all of your headings and your text for how you'd like them to look throughout your whole email. And 
This builder also has this layouts function where you can choose columns and you can also choose these image and text blocks which fill in just like that. All right, I used a little bit of video magic here to speed along the design process. If you're interested in learning more about designing email and how this builder works, I have a video specifically for that, but I want to move on to completing the sending pro <clears throat> But I want to move on to completing the process of getting this email ready to send. Next, we're going to hop up here at preview. Right now in the preview, you're looking at it in desktop mode, which is how you're pretty much used to seeing it. But you also want to make sure that you check it in mobile, what it will look like on a phone. Um, the spacing is often a little bit different and you can change this in the designer if you don't like, like how far apart this heading looks right now. You can also use this inbox preview to see what it will look like in different email systems. Gmail and Outlook interpret code different ways. So this will give you a peek into what that might look like. All right, I'm going to hop back in here now. You can go ahead and send yourself a test email. Keep in mind that test email may end up in your spam folder. It does not mean that your emails themselves will. Uh, it's just because it's a test. You can save this as a template so you can use it in the future. And we're all set. So I'm going to save and exit this. Here we are back where we set up our email. If we scroll down here, you can choose the name of the URL. If we scroll down here, you can set the URL. Any email that you send from MailChimp will have a URL with it. So you can share it on social media. You can have it post automatically to social media if you like. You can choose how it is listed in Google Analytics if you are connected to Google Analytics. And then you can schedule it. It's going to double check everything for me. And we're all set. Well, there we go. Thanks so much for hanging with me today. I've got all sorts of other tutorials on here. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get updates as MailChimp updates, and I'll talk to you soon.